Hello and welcome to the 75th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at lists. Lists allow data to be stored similar to an array. It is very cheap in terms of computing power to insert and remove data from a list but one of the main disadvantages of a list is that you can't randomly access an element. Basically you can't say you want to access an element at index 4 for example said you need to iterate through the entire array or through the entire array up to the point where you've got your data which can be very expensive in terms of computing power, especially when you get like really big arrays and the application is doing a lot of other stuff as well. Lists can grow in size on like arrays or arrays. You have to specify um, the initial size, uh, whether that is via a number or via the amount of values you give it, whereas lists you do not. So let's just go ahead and show you how to implement lists. Personally, don't really use a list too much, we either use arrays or vectors. Vectors will be covering in the next part of this series. So what you want to do is to do hash include list is a built-in library file. It's gonna get rid of this for a moment. And we're gonna create a list. It's part of the standard name base, so std colon colon list. And what we do is put angle brackets and in here we specify the data type so I'm going to put int for integer put name our list so my list and what we're going to do is we're going to say by default we're going to initialize you can initialize it like this so you send an empty list or you can also initialize it by saying you want five values or with the default value of 200 like I said you can grow the list size so you can make it have seven items or four items or whatnot but by default it's just going to have five in this example and now what we're going to do is just iterate through so we're going to do four std list int colon colon iterator there the built-in iterator I'm going to name it it we're going to assign the value of my list.begin, so the start of the list. We'll put semicolon, we're going to say it while it isn't equal to my list, can you, be, can you guess? Dot end, so while it's still within the list. it semicolon, and we'll do it plus plus. And in here, we're simply going to do std cout asterisk it std and line. Now, if we run this, we get the values 200, 200, 200, 200, 200 printed out. I might have said 200 six times, maybe not. And what we're going to do is actually show you how to add some data to it. So, to do that, you just do my list, you push or pop data, push. So, we're going to push it to the back. And the value we're going to assign is 47. Run it. And the last value they've printed out is 47. But if we change this to push front and run it, the first value is 47 because you're pushing it to the front of the list. You can also do my list dot pop back. So we'll have 47 plus 4, 200. Or if we change this to push from and pop front and run it, we get five val 200 values because even though we pushed some data to the front, we immediately popped it. That's how you remove and insert data. We're going to change this to back. And that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll cover vectors, which will allow data to be inserted randomly. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.